Hey everybody, Propway1 here, and today we will be taking a look and reviewing the Spirit Halloween 2021 Wacky Mole Clown. Now I'm sure as many people know this prop was originally released in 2013 and was a part of the Clown Train theme. Uh, being displayed next to many of Spirit's iconic clowns like Thrashing Clown, Silent and Deadly Clown, and the Bloody Bag of Jokes. After Wacky Mole sold out in 2013, many people still wanted him and were paying over $500 for him on eBay. But for the 2021 season, Spirit decided to completely bring him back and update him so he matched all modern Halloween prop criteria, introducing the speaker jack and many other new features on this classic Spirit prop. But before we get started, let's take a look at a demo. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer. <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna whack you over the head, too. Oh, please, come a little closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we saw, once activated, Wacky Mole will begin to turn side to side as his eyes glow yellow while he speaks one of three spooky phrases. These three phrases are the exact same from the 2013 model. Taking a look at the appearance of Wacky Mole, I think he is a very creepy prop. Just taking a look at his smile, I know for a fact that that is going to freak out so many people. His deranged spiral eyes, his... He's very over-exaggerated, and I think that's what makes him so scary. Obviously, the smile takes up his entire face, which is very kind of unnatural and uncanny. His swirly eyes are very creepy, and he kind of almost looks just angry. And I just think that is so scary on him. The hammer has the pretty much the same color scheme as the old one does, just maybe a little more detail on it, I guess. The costume is pretty much the exact same. It just has some quality improvements on it. However, it uses the same color scheme and pattern as the 2013 one does and then of course he has the ruffle as well which is also improved it fits a lot around his neck a lot better and now it velcros unless uh unlike the old clowns where you actually used to have to tie it so yeah his appearance is very creepy and is a lot like the original i think the main difference with the appearance is the shoes as the 2013 one had the cloth shoes and the 2021 version has the typical plastic shoes However, one of the things, the uh, very main things that people love about this prop uh, with the appearance and his scare factor is that he is blacklight reactive. A lot of people say the blacklight reactive feature isn't as good as the 2013 one. However, I still think he looks creepy as is as the 2021 version because I still know for a fact that that is going to scare so many people. His outfit also does react to the black light. Um, it isn't as sensitive as the 2013 one is. However, I still think he looks terrifying with the black light on him. Now for Wacky Mole's quality, I would say everything was pretty much improved. Uh, the quality of the clothing is a lot better. Again, I don't have the 2013 version, but if I had to guess, I have other props from 2013. And the clothing on them is a lot uh, like worse quality. So this one I, I would say is an improvement. The shoes are now plastic instead of cloth, which is awesome because I just did not like the cloth shoes. Uh, the buttons are plastic. I'm taking it the old ones are plastic probably as well. Uh, the hammer the, uh, and the hands are also plastic. And the head is plastic as well. However, there is one thing that people don't like about the quality improvements, and I don't really like it either. Uh, the mask is now latex. Instead of his head being all plastic, he does have a latex mask. I think it makes the details kind of pop a little more, however he is going to now dry rot which is a new issue that Wacky Mole in 2013 never had to deal with and now people are going to have to deal with it now and that is not good because once a prop starts to dry rot that is basically its last, it's basically on its last legs once it starts to rot. But all of its insides are metal and here is the updated speaker box, here's the back of it with the external speaker jack and there is the updated speaker. Wacky Mole is made of very strong and good materials, and I don't recall ever seeing one actually being broken in store or on anybody's videos, so I would say that Wacky Mole has very good quality. And finally, Wacky Mole retailed for $220 in 2021. That is a $20 increase from the original 2013 price. Now is he worth that $220? I know that the original was $200, and this one features quite a bit of upgrades. 
but I'm still going to say I don't think he's quite worth that $220. I think $200 was a perfect price tag for him because he's not a very big prop. I know he's made of very good materials, and then he also doesn't do that much either. So I would just drop that price down to $200, and I would say that is good for him. Concluding this review, waiting, rating Wacky Mole out of 1 to 10, I'm going to go ahead and give Wacky an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is a fantastic Flashback Friday prop, but the only thing I would change is that latex face because now we have to worry about dry rotting, which is not fun. But thank you all so much for watching this review, and stay tuned for more coming soon. Bye!